go to work. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Lori. All right, if you need me for anything, just give a holler, Glenny. All right, sweet. All right. All right. Yeah, this, this woman says that, uh, she says, I have a mind of my own, and her buddy says, well, who else would want it? I go home, I just want to turn on the TV and relax. But read the Bible? All those these and thous and begats? Who wants to struggle with that after waiting on customers all day? But then a friend showed me this version written in modern English, and I was surprised. This guy I play hoops with said I should start reading it. The Bible. Man, I said, I don't need no Bible. I mean, it just ain't cool. So he goes, I read it all the time. And he beat me by 20 points. So he gives me his Bible. I read it. It ain't hoops. But it ain't bad. What's your excuse? Before you make an excuse to avoid reading the Bible, stop, take a second look. Pick up the Bible for five minutes, and you may pick it up for a lifetime. Love, happy, cheer, humor, and enthusiasm. Grace and peace be unto you. Lindor, this is Andy Hurst. A little from the your God, your Father. <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, good, sweetie. How are you doing? You're fine. I want to know how Ann Simpson is. Well, um, she passed away yesterday. Oh, gee. Hmm? Oh, God bless her. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> well, you know. At least it was peaceful, and I was there. You were there. Hmm? Yeah. Oh well, that that means that, that means a great deal, Andrew. Mm -hmm. and it, well, she wanted to stay at home, and you know, I made sure that happened. Oh, you did. So she was at home, and so when did they release her? Uh, no, she never went to the hospital. You know. Um, she, she never went to the hospital. No, no, she never. She didn't want to go. She wanted to feel safe in her own. Oh, 
way to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um... And so you never... The doctors never did anything, right? No, no. They really couldn't do anything. Um, you know... They couldn't. Operate. Even if they were good doctors, they couldn't have done anything. Uh, no, it was just too far gone, you know, and too quick. Well... And, uh, you know, I, I just prayed to God that she wouldn't suffer anymore, you know? What a terrible thing. God bless Ann Simpson. Yeah. It was really aggressive. It just so quickly, it 
grew and grew in just a few weeks, you know. Mm. Just took her. Mm. What caused the deterioration of the liver? Well, she had hepatitis C, which she got from a blood transfusion a long time. Oh, no, really? Yeah, that's, you know. Um, that she so did really? Oh. And back then, they didn't really know to check for it, you know, so um, it's just one unfortunate thing after another, you know. <laughs> what did she have to have the blood transfusion for? Well, she had another, like, a non-cancerous cyst that was growing inside of her, and they had to operate and take that out. And, um, you know, that was successful and everything was fine, except that uh, she got a bad, you know, batch of blood with the hepatitis C virus. And that, that attacked her liver. And uh, to be honest, I'm amazed she lasted that long with, with the hepatitis because she only had about 10% of her liver left that was functioning. Oh. Well, you know, and, and still she was a pretty strong person, you know. So it's... I guess I actually, you know, had her longer than I expected, you know, yes. wait. So it's, it's a shame, but uh, like I said, she's in a better place now, and she's with her boys, and, you know, God really wanted her for some reason, so, you know, you can't question that. You have to just accept it, you know. Yes, that's right. You're doing well, Andrew. You're doing very well. What can I do? Oh, well, I'll be happy to get to see you again, um, you know, and... Okay, you think you'll be coming up the Tuesday, the uh, 24th? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully there won't be a big uh, snowstorm or something. Where no, I'll uh, tell you what's happened. Uh, yesterday we got storm number 18, and right. it was beautiful. It, it was where the snow clings to every twig, uh, and it's like a Christmas card. Right. And uh, that... Uh, so that ground's got about an inch on it. The day before, we got storm number 17, and that was only a half an inch. Okay. And uh,
Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, and then I could get I could get the feeling, you know, whether I really want one or not. But if I do want one, if you think I want one, I'm prepared to go down to Walmart or whatever to buy one cash. Yeah, no, they're, they're getting very cheap now, as a matter of fact, because, uh, you know, the technology keeps getting better and it, 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 the price goes down. It's just like everything else. Mm -hmm. Well, the first VCR costs a thousand dollars, and now you can get one for you know less than a hundred. <laughs> yes, you can. You know, so it's, it's if you can get one. Computer. Right, right. Well, that's true. There's yeah, they're, they're almost out of the yeah. picture. Andrew, should I call you back? Because uh, on your t on your phone, you're using up a lot of minutes. Well, it doesn't matter. If you call me, I still have to use minutes. Oh, okay. all right. It doesn't matter either way. So. <laughs> Um, I'm just for using it no matter what is coming I, out going, you know? Oh, really? Andrew, yes. well, I'll have to make a decision about this. Uh, I have a track phone that has 460 minutes on it. Uh -huh. Uh, would you like to borrow it and use up those minutes? Well, that'd, that'd be nice, but, uh, you know, I, I always have enough minutes on my phone, so I, I really, you, yeah. you know, it's, I appreciate the offer, but I, I really wouldn't need it anyway, so. I think uh, save it for an emergency, or okay. maybe you can even donate it to somebody who really needs it. Well, I, uh, yeah, I want my phone. I just, uh, I don't need those minutes, you see, because I, right. I'm MCI and it's forty-five dollars no matter what. Uh, what's an Acer? A C E R. Oh, that's um, well, that's a type of computer. Um, they're actually pretty good. You know, there's different brands, and that's one of the brands. This little, the little one I saw at Walmart was half the size of the uh, laptop. Oh, yeah, the miniature one. Yeah, those are good. Those are nice. What are they? Would they be suitable for me? Well, if you want to get on the Internet with it, sure, you can do that. Um, you know, I wouldn't use it for video editing. Um, it's, you need something a little bit more powerful to, to edit video. But uh, I'm not sure if you really want to do that anyway. Um, I mean, it's, it's fun to do, but it's, it's also time-consuming, and I know, you know, you really don't have much free time with well, the, uh, let me say, say it this way, that I'm here to spread happiness, and if I'm on the computer, it's, I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yes, yeah, it could be. I mean, it, you can reach a lot of people on the computer with email and, you know, reach the whole world, really. So. Yeah, but of course, in person, it's the tops. Of course, of course. Yeah. But uh, I think the fact that your show is on the Internet is, is, is suffices, you know, because... Um, you do, huh? Yeah, because that way everybody can watch your show all over the world and you're reaching pretty much almost everybody, you know? <laughs> so it's, that's a good thing. How was your show? Um, well, actually, uh, you know, I, I had to stop doing it for a while because of everything mm. going on in my life, you know? But um, I plan on picking it up again. I'll, I'll be... Uh, you missed the renewal February 10th, of course. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, because... You know, I should have helped you with that. Well, I, I didn't even think to think about it because my mind was just so concentrated on helping my, my sister, you know. Oh, well, sure. That's all you could think about. Yeah, you know, but um, that's okay. That's okay. It's, um, you know. Well, and you I, think when you come up that you can uh, get the maximum use out of my lovely character generator? There's all kinds oh, of things on there that I can't do that it can do. Yeah, I, I look forward to, you know, uh, showing you about that, and I also wanted to tell you that I got to see the five thousand show on, on the internet. Oh, you did! And it was absolutely amazing. I was, I was just, oh. it was breathtaking. <laughs> it really was, Andrew. Yeah. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. I, I couldn't have done better myself, and I, I wanted to say. Oh, you think she did as well as you could have done it? Oh, absolutely. It was beautiful. Oh, you're proud of her. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and you know, I, I was really amazed at all the nice footage that she had. And picked out, and uh, you know, it was it was really fantastic. And oh, Andrew, good news! So I'm I'm really glad that you know I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it this time, but um, it, it turned out okay anyway. You know, well, you can still do one. Oh yeah, well I I love to do it like a, a little <laughs> mini documentary on you anyway because it's so you have so much stuff you know over the years that accumulated and. Uh, and that was the amazing thing. She had a Herculean amount of uh, of footage, and how she ever brought it down to 29 minutes and did it so sequentially. Right. And, yeah, and told the story. She really told the story. Well, that's what amazed me because um, you know it, it's not easy to, to take a whole you know all the years that you've been doing this and try to push it, this to a half hour. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't really do it much justice, but she, she, she really did a good job. Yes, she did. And now she's going to 
submit that to some film festival and uh, down in North Carolina. And she's also going to use it as a, uh, you know how you have to write a thesis for a master's degree? Oh, right. Well, yeah. it, well in her case, she'd be making a video for a master's, you see. Right, right. Well, I think it's perfectly appropriate, to, you know, and I'm sure it, 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 it's it got to win something because it, it's really that good, you know. It's really amazing. The content is fantastic, and she really did a good job. Oh, oh I'm going to tell her. I'm trying to find her telephone number now to call her. Yeah, oh, good. enough good things. It's just, you know, really, I, I, was, I had to watch it three times in a row because I was... You did, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You watched it three times? <laughs> Where'd you watch it? On the YouTube or...? Yeah, on the YouTube I watched it, and it was absolutely fantastic. Because oh, thank you, Andrew. What a, what a jewel you've given us. Uh, well, you know, I oh. still started it. <laughs> but if you were doing a show, we wouldn't have anything, you know, so... Um, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you're still doing your show, and I'm so glad that... Uh, oh, yeah. 26 of them last month, Andrew. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, well, and, and I really, you know, I don't want you to, um, you know, uh, feel that you can't trust me because I, I still want to keep your show alive no matter what. And, yeah, that uh, means so much. When, and you know Vicky's going to help you. Yes, yes. Victoria's okay. going to help you. I will ask Victoria if she can come the 28th, too. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. Well, hopefully she could, then we could all be together. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be lovely. But I yeah. think, you know, I think it's out because Tuesday night she teaches her graduate students. I mean, her undergraduate students. I see. Yeah. Well, maybe another day we can come up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. The two of you have got to meet. Yes, yes. But uh, I think between the both of us, you know, we'll, we'll definitely be able to keep your show going. And well, that's great. And I'm getting, I'm asking my, one of my... Uh, Yorktown, Cablevision Yorktown said, well, all of the rest of our public access producers, they just say, throw away the DVDs. Why do you want them? <laughs> and I said, well, Andrew Hersman, who lives in Long Island, said that after I go to heaven, he will keep a chat with one door going. Well, that stopped him. <laughs> that stopped him. See that? No more questions there. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked all of my TV stations to send me back the DVDs. Because there's a whole lot that you wouldn't have to reproduce. That's right. Well, it's, it's very important, and, you know, it's, there's so much to choose from, and that's why it'll go on for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Uh, we'll never run out of uh, good stuff to show, you know. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's, that's the thing. More and more people uh, put it up on the screen. Well, let me just take a specific case. That would be Kathleen Haggett as she over in Pine Bush, which is over near Middletown, New York, uh, Orange County. She uh, she just responds, and I put up on the screen, I can't say it any better than this, that Kathleen Hegedus is giving a chat with Lindora what it is looking for. Ah, yeah. pretty good. Yeah, very. because she gets up in the morning and she counts blessings and she stops complaining. Yes. She feels stronger. No, it's it all the right things. You're absolutely right. Yeah, so it's, um, it's you, you have the right idea, and, and if more people would follow that, the world would be a better place, you know? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Andrew. That's just what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, now, March, uh, I'm going to play the Charles Dolan interview in full. In full. Really? Yeah, in full. Huh? 20 minutes. Actually, it's 17 minutes. Okay. And you look at that, and you'll see what kind of a person Charles Dolan is. Mm -hmm. Well, I did have the chance to meet him when I, you know, back in, in 80, what was it, 85, I believe it was. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I was pretty impressed with him. He was, you know, he is a charming man. He's very intelligent. And, uh, you know, back in those days, when that's when Cablevision was a private company. And he really did care about his employees back then. Really? And the problem was, as soon as the company became public and, uh, you know, they sold yeah. stocks, then and all of a sudden the, the, the employees were number two and the stockholders were number one. Oh, yes, you put that, that very well. Yeah, and that's, that's what ruined the company, I think, you know. And he, yeah, that's why he's trying to get it back, I think. Yeah, he's attempting to buy it back, and unfortunately he's not been successful at that. He wanted to buy Cablevision instead of Newsday. Yes, yes. And, you know, it, it's a shame that uh, he couldn't do that because I think he would turn the company around and, you know, once he makes 
city employees, number one again, uh, you know, it, it, it's much a better situation because yeah. employees feel that their work is valuable and they work harder and everybody is, is happy that way, you know. Yes, and you will see this in this interview when it will be playing in March. Mm -hmm. You will see what, what he's like. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You, and you look at him and you say, how could such a nice man allow such bad people to take over? Yeah. Well, I, I, he got out of hand, huh? I think I think you had a good point when you said some of the people that he got involved with, uh, you know, like uh, John Tata and these people that uh, kind of took over for him, you know, went over his head almost. And yes, they did. And, oh, I, I know he did because remember I told you he's, when I was telling him about what was going on in Cable Beach and Harrison, he said, Glendora, I don't run that part of the company anymore. Yeah. He made a deal. Somehow. He made a deal. Right. He gave that for something that he wanted from them. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes you make good deals, sometimes you don't make good deals. And <laughs> I think that, you know, the, the, just it, it all started when the company went public and, and uh, that, that really destroyed the whole, you know, what, what, what he stood for, what he was trying to do. And, uh, you know, it all became trying to make the stock callers happy, which you really can't do. And they're such awful people. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. They, you know, uh, so it was a mistake, and he, I think he realizes it now and tries to get the company back, but it's, it's, but he, it's too late, you know. Well, I think another bad blow um, speculating is his son, James. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's another one. Yeah. That's another one. And it's, you know, he, I don't think he appreciates what his father did for him, you know. But He actually voted against his father. Yeah. Yeah, so... To take away, uh, what was the, uh, that Charles Vision had another visionary, what was it? Oh, yeah, that, it was called Boom. It was, yeah, he took away Boom or Zoom or, oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's a shame because um, he is a visionary and he, he does, he, he, he was before his time on that one, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Was, is, that, oh, yeah. is that what it boils down to? Yeah. But he was it's, before his time on News 12. He was before his time on HBO. He was before his time all of his life. Yes, and I have a lot of respect for all that because uh, without him, we wouldn't have all these things. And, and uh, you know, he really was the person to, to make this all happen. Yes, he was. He's always yeah. been a visionary. Yeah. And he deserves it. And if you, in this interview, you will see that as a little boy, he was uh, uh, writing a uh, column for one of the newspapers on the Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. And he was only a little boy. He was only in high school. Yeah, he's, not, he's a very intelligent person, and, you know, I, I think he really, you know, deep down he's a good person. It's just uh, he got involved with a lot of people that, that uh, brought him down. Yeah, and crooks. Yeah. And liars. And thieves. That's, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, they had and no principle at all. Now, if he, if he would have stuck with his principles and not gone with the... Uh, you know, selling out the public uh, for, the, for the stockholders, mm -hmm. I think uh, he would have um, gotten a lot further. Maybe not quite as rich, but uh, uh, spiritually and, and just, you know. You'll see all that in his personality in this 18-minute yes. yes. interview. Yeah, it's great. Yes. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's a shame that he got involved with all these, these crooked people. And, yes, he you know, did. John Totter was a... He was just like Mafia. He was yes, yes, foul, uh, foul mouth, you know, yes, a, a, a swaggering, uh, uh, unprincipled, you know. Yeah, you're not the only one to say that. And, you know, it, it, it goes to show that, uh, you know, people, it's obvious. You know, people see that, you know. So uh, it, it's a shame that, that it went that way. But, um, you know, you can't, you can't go back in time and change things, you know. It's just <laughs> the way it's 